Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are unboxing another Accio box. This one has been here for quite some time, so I'm a little bit slow to getting around to it, had a little bit of time off, but yes, this is the Accio box. It's in a little bit of a funky shaped box this month, which has me very, very curious. Don't know what the theme is, we'll find out together. Now, this video is sponsored by the lovely Accio, so if you would like to get your very own, I have got a discount code for you guys, which is Magical Family. This means that you get some money off, and it also means that I get a little bit of money to help keep this channel running. So, without further ado, we're gonna open this funky shaped Accio. It's very long. But without further ado, I want to know what is inside this really oddly shaped Accio. So let's get started. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button. You'd like to come part of our weird magical online family. But let's go, because come on. Oh, I need my pokey poke. I do not have my pokey poke. I got it. Okay, let's be careful with these, because... You guys know I'm not good with sharp objects after last year. My poor little hand. <laughs> okay, let's open it on up. I'm gonna give you a cheeky sneak peek. We solemnly swear that there's good stuff inside. I sure hope so. Right. Ooh. It looks to me like we have a wand inside of here. Ooh, okay. Well, well, now we know why the box was a different shape, don't we? Let's start off with this as it's on top. So we have got ourselves a wand. It says, in fact, what does it say? I cannot read that. It's an exclusive collaboration with Accio and Crocon. No, I'm not going to try, but whatever that says. <laughs> um, so it's a collaboration. Ooh. Okay, so on the end it says that it's a number 185. The calf date is the 15th of August 2021. It's a length of 11 inches and the wood is basswood. And I'm not sure what the core is. I think it does say at the bottom there. But that's exciting that our first item from this Accio box is a wand. Oh, okay, so it's, it's designed to be smudged, the core. So let's see what's inside. Let's open it. I don't think we get many wands from Accio, so I'm very intrigued. Oh, it's actually beautiful. Now, it's definitely cast, so it's painted to look like wood, because that is... Mm, no, that's definitely cast and then painted, I think. Like, I'm certain of it. But here is the wand. I love the wand handle. It definitely is really ornate. It's actually a really nice wand, actually. Swish and flick. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yes, really, really like the end and... Yeah, it's just a really nice, it feels nice. I love ones that feel good in the hand, which it does. It's very, very pretty, so. Yep. <laughs> and I must say, I quite liked that the box, there was um, velvet inside. It did make it feel quite luxurious. I do like that one, so that's quite a nice start to the box. Let's see what else we've got inside. Let's discuss the pin. Okay, so we have got wand law. Okay, I'm guessing the box theme is wands. You guys already know because I've put it in the thumbnail, but at the moment I do not. So yes, we have a wand law pin. It's double clasped on, no, it's singular clasped. My bad, just testing you. <laughs> okay, so wand law, let's, oh wow. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, you could have got, <laughs> okay, how adorable is this pin? So this is all about wand cores. I'm going to read it to you. There's quite a lot there. But it says, inside of each wand is a magical substance which is placed within the length of the wood. This is the wand core and the type of core is known to influence the temperament of the wand produced with it. Many types of materials have been used for wand cores, however the following are considered to be the three supreme cores. And it does say that there's unicorn hair, phoenix, tail feather and dragon heartstring, which you can see on there. 
and the one that we have got is Phoenix Tail Feather. Now this is a beautiful pin because not only is it hard enameled, we've even got some clear enamel on there as well so that you can see through it. But I just think that's such a pretty way of showing a wand core. So it says unicorn hairs. These hairs are plucked from the tail of a living unicorn. I mean, that's a bit mean, isn't it? You imagine just going up to a unicorn and be like, pink, <laughs> and it's like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, it says wands with a unicorn hair core are typically dependable and consistent and tend to be extremely loyal to the first user of the wand. This core does not typically result in the most powerful of wands. However, it is possible to counteract its shortcomings with the correct wand wood. These wands are the most difficult to turn to the dark arts and the hair can die if dark magic is attempted with these wands. I mean, that's a pretty cool fact, isn't it? Now, the one that I received, which was the Phoenix Tail Feather, says... This is the rarest core type due to the fact that the phoenix only gives one tail feather at a time. I mean, we do know that there is a phoenix that gave two. For the most part, that is what they do. And it says, and sometimes many years apart, wands created with this material are capable of the widest range of magic. However, they can take the longest form and bond with their owner. Once a bond is formed, it is almost impossible to change their allegiance. Well that's my wand <laughs> and then last but not least is the dragon heartstrings uh wands created with this material are among the most powerful in addition they learn spells more quickly but are also the more prone to accidents and can be temperamental they are known to bond strongly with their owner but change allegiance if one from their original master of the three main wand cores, heartstring wands can tend most easily to the dark arts. Well, I'm quite happy with my my wand core. It's just a lovely thing that they've done with the pin this month. It's perfect for the for the theme of the box. So let's continue. We've got oh, we've got t-shirt. Let's see what the Accio t-shirt is. On their buttery soft tees. Let's have a look. I'll show you guys first. Oh my god! I know what this is. I can see from the back because it says employee of the month. This is an Ollivander's top. It says makers of fine ones since 382 BC. And it's in this kind of, um, it's like a metallic print as well, which is lovely. On the sleeve, it says Accio. And then on the back, we have employee of the month, which is pretty cool. I do like that. That is one that will be added to my my t-shirt drawer. So quite pleased. Do like that. This theme is really strong actually. Okay. We've got oh we've got loads more things in here. Well, two. I actually thought this was two things. What are you? Oh, I think this is like okay, so firstly I can see these like clips. I think this is like a tapestry hanging. I think. Let's open it. Okay, so it's like um Oh, it's like a Deathly Hallows. It says uh, wands. So you can hang it if you want using those clips, I imagine. I'm not sure what else those clips would be used for, but there we have it, a little wands. I'm not sure what I would use this for. Probably my least favourite item so far, but I mean, the design's quite nice. I guess we'll read on the cheat sheet what the, the purpose of that is. Could just be a wall hanging. Okay, then what else have we got in here? Okay, we've got something here that says official ministry wand license approved. Oh, this is cool. Is this going to be like a passport case? Because that is funky. Oh, it is. It is like very, I know what I'm using when I travel this year. This is a Ministry of Magic approved like license, wand license, but it's an app. Love, love, love practical products that are in these boxes. We've got a nice gold foiling on there as well which is pretty cool. I like it and it is something that I will probably find myself using this summer because I think I may be going to America. Then we've got the cheat sheet. Okay, okay. So we had one, two, three, four, five items, which is about usual for, oh, we can see all the other pins. Okay, right, let's start. We've got magic wand. That is the theme. And it says, it's possibly the most important item in the magical world. And we're finally able to focus on it, the magic wand. While wandless magic might be possible, albeit unpredictable, using a wand to channel magic through is certainly the norm. And therefore a wand is key to the magical world. Custom wand. Okay, so we had our custom wand, which was crooked wands. Okay, I definitely wouldn't have been able to read that. 
um <laughs> so this is crooked ones and akia this has a value of 30 dollars and it says we're so excited to bring you this exclusive collaboration with crooked ones every witch and wizard needs a wand and this 11 inch wand is a gorgeous item to either start or add to your collection display it proudly or tuck it into your robes being careful not to sit on it of course and remember to speak clearly when using it for magic I did like that item, it was pretty good. Then we had the Wand Shop Super Soft Tea, which we all know as Ollivander's. It says this had a value of $25, and it says visiting the best wand shop in London is always a joy, but working there must be a dream. Show off your employment status and employee of the month distinction with this Aki exclusive staff shirt. Just be sure to have a cover story ready in case for any non-magical folk asking what it's for. Then we have the wand cores. Now, as you can see, there were three, and I'm really glad that we got the one that we did, but I think the unicorn core one is really nice as well. So these are the wand core enamel pins, and they have a value of $14 each, and it says, wand cores play a huge role in wand making and how the wand functions. While many things can be used, three materials produce the highest quality ones, unicorn hair, dragon heartstring and phoenix feather. One of these three substances in enamel pin form will be included in each box along with information about each substance. I really liked it. Okay, then we had the wand registration passport wallet and it says registering your wand is incredibly important, especially whilst traveling. This ministry approved passport wallet gives you a safe place to store that documentation along with your passport identification or anything else that you need to keep easily accessible and also contained and secure. Note that to conform with the non-magical travel standards, this doesn't come with an anti-theft charm already in place. Sad times. <laughs> then there was the Wand Tarot Tapestry. Okay. It says, this tapestry is another gorgeous way to display your love for wands. Designed in-house and featuring different wand styles, this wand tarot design will add a little bit of magic to your wall. Okay. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, I can see that they've displayed it on a wall in like a home setting on the cheat sheet. That had a value of $10. Uh, the passport wallet had a value of $8, by the way. But yeah, I mean, I really did like this theme. I feel as though they've mixed it up a little bit. Really liked the t-shirt i think that might actually be my favorite thing from the box because it's a black it goes with everything i just like it it's very very wearable and you know it's very nice <laughs> the wand i thought was really fun to open and it did look quite nice i loved the concept with the wand cores and how that was the enamel pin and the you can all get different ones. If you had this box, which core did you get? Leave a comment down below. I'm interested to see what everyone got. I loved the practical item, which was the registration, the passport wallet, which definitely probably will be used this summer. And then the one tarot tapestry, nice bit of artwork. It definitely makes a change from having a print. Is it something that I would probably put on my walls? Maybe not, but I think maybe younger wizards or witches might like this on their walls. I'm just quite fussy with what I display. But apart from that, I think it was quite a fun theme. And I'm excited to see what other themes Akio come out with this year. Now, as per usual, it's not just about my thoughts. I want your thoughts. What was your favourite item from this box? Mine was definitely the t-shirt, I think. And then the passport. I think, I mean, all of these items were pretty strong, to be fair. Uh, in my opinion, maybe except for the tapestry, but the rest of them I really enjoyed, but I'd love your thoughts. What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? And if you enjoyed this video and you got this far, then please tell us, give us a magical thumbs up. It shows that you're part of the very cool magical club. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but I'm gonna go, but I will see you in my next video. And thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Look, it's not a surprise that I'm employee of the month, is it?